Now, your Alaska Link weather for Anchorage and South Central. Good evening and happy Thursday. We are rolling into a weekend of June that is going to feel like summer. Now, last weekend we had some gorgeous conditions, but we were shy of that 70 degree high temperature. But we're looking at some more chances here into the weekend. Now, summer's arriving and it could last even into at least early next week, if not much of next week. As what we are going to usher into is more of a quieter forecast. We are expected to see that at least the weekend is expected to keep these bright and warm temperatures. As high temperatures will be heading at least into those upper 60s, if not stacking up a few of those 70s. But what we are noting is that when we have these bright and warm conditions that can create what we call instability and instability, especially with some lingering moisture in the air and some little short waves that will slide through the upper atmosphere that could trigger some afternoon rumbles of thunder. So stay aware, especially if you will try to get out and enjoy this weather. If you climb elevation, that thunder risk is going to be a bit higher in those regions. So something to keep in mind at this time of the year. Now here as we head into our Friday gorgeous setup that we'll have, we'll start off the day even just around those 50s and we will note lots of sunshine to work with light winds but there by the afternoon as we hit at least those mid 60s some thunderstorms will be possible now we know that most of the anchorage bowl does sometimes miss out on these thunderstorm chances it's a possibility so keep yourself wary but again you'll watch that the biggest threat here is more through our higher elevation starting those thunderstorms over the copper river basin and then some of those storms are able to drift over the valley again might get a little thunderstorm over the bowl at times that can be distant but even if a thunderstorm storm is distant. Note that if you can hear thunder roar, you are in the proximity of a strike of lightning. So you always want to make sure to stay safe when we are in this time of the year where we have thunderstorms. But also what we watch through this forecast is there's lots of clearing in the cloud cover, meaning we have lots of sunshine to work with. And we are up to 19 hours and 18 minutes. We have slowed down how much daylight we are gaining as, as we work into next week, we are talking about hitting that summer solstice. We have 420 for a sunrise and 1139 for our sunset. We will roll into our Friday with those summer like temperatures, much of the valley looking at heading at least into those mid to upper 60s, if not hitting some of those 70s. Even our coastal areas, Seward and Whittier, getting to 60 degrees under some sunshine. And then as we head into our Saturday forecast, again, another very warm day. Seward even heading towards 62. Anchorage at 70 degrees. Valdez at 64 degrees. And with these types of temperatures, this is a summer day. We're noting that all the way from our coastal areas to our inland spots, we are near or above normal with even some portions of the valley upwards of 10 degrees above normal. So this is more summer-like for us. We haven't seen many days like this. We've seen that June has started to mix more and more of those in and we'll continue to talk about mixing those in now we'll keep some chances for some of those showers and those mild temperatures this seems to be a little dip by the end of the week as the forecast comes a little bit more uncertain but at least keeping near normal temperatures looks to be a possibility and we'll watch those rain chances